Hey there digital friends, welcome back to Digital Visions and in this video I am going to show you about the Android 13 beta update on the Nothing Phone 1. I waited for some days so that if any kind of major bug pops out I can alert you guys before trying this beta update. So this beta updates come with the December security patch and if you want to make sure you use it so watch the full video so that you will be knowing what are the issues you might face if you try this beta update. So I will be starting the video with the what are the new features that we will be getting and what are the bugs which are present currently in this beta and whether you should be using this or not and after that I will show you how to flash this or sideload the update if you didn't get the beta update. The first thing I want to talk about regarding the Android 13 update is regarding the smoothness and fluidity of the update. Android 12 sometimes feels very laggy while using apps and even while scrolling but in Android 13 it feels like really really smooth. The animations in this update are also very cool. We are getting the new Android 13 animations when we lock or unlock the screen. Even the app animations are very smooth as you can see here I am opening and closing the camera app and the animations are very fast. So the next thing I want to talk about is the quick setting panel where as you can see here the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth toggles so we can directly turn on and off here but in Android 13 when we turn on we will be getting a separate menu again. So here we will be getting a pop up instead of the settings. So it's now more easy to connect to different music accessories and also shift to different Wi-Fi's. So earlier if you see in the Wi-Fi toggle we can see three different toggles that is regarding the Wi-Fi mobile data and hotspot. But now they removed the hotspot and we can see a separate toggle only for the hotspot and we can turn on the hotspot from here. So now after the hotspot you can see a new toggle here that is scan QR code which is Android 13 specific so now we will be getting in the nothing goes beta also. So from here we can directly scan the QR code instead of using the camera app or google lens. So this is one of the good things that they have added. Earlier in Android 12 Google introduced two new toggles which is regarding the privacy which are nothing but the mic and camera access which are not available in Nothing OS Android 12 but they are now available in the Nothing OS Android 13. After that as you can see at the bottom we can see the setting shortcut and also the power button shortcut and after that at the left we can see what apps are running in the background so we can force stop the unnecessary apps. So the next thing is regarding the app opening as you can see I am opening the Pokemon Go app in Android 12 and in Android 13. So let's see how much time it will take. So it is working for some times and it is not working for some times for me as you can see here in Android 13 and Android 12 they both open at the same time. So sometimes the app opening are very fast and the animations are very smooth compared to the Android 12. So now coming to the game dashboard as you can see earlier in Android 12 the gaming mode is just a basic one. So in the Android 13 we will be getting much more improved one. So in the game dashboard settings enable the floating icon. So now go to games and as you can see here we will be seeing a floating icon here. So click on that and then we will get options of screenshot, screen record, enable the live FPS meter here only. So the next thing is regarding the battery life. The battery life has been improved compared to the Android 12. Most people are getting more than 6 hours of screen on time. So I am also happy compared to Android 12. The battery backup has been increased for me also. So I am getting roughly around 7 hours of screen on time and most people also claim that they are getting more than 7 hours of screen on time. So the battery life seems to be improved and the graph is also fixed. And another thing is they have now added a sleep standby optimization feature to reduce the overnight drain and it is working for me. Earlier the overnight drain for me is around 8%, now it is reduced to around 2%. The next thing is regarding the like option feature which is actually present in Android 11 but nothing implemented it in the Android 13. So it will be listening to the audio of the video which you are playing in your media player and then show the captions according to that. So it will be a little bit delay while showing you the audio and the captions. So let me show you that also. You can see the YouTube captions and the live captions which are generated by this live captions option.
so next thing is regarding the volume control panel as you can see click on three dots and you can directly change the volume of the calling alarms and media simultaneously and even we can make the phone silent directly from here and the bottom we also getting the live caption option The next thing is regarding the new media control panel so as you can see now we will be getting the new kind of alban art with the material UD mixed in it looks more cool than earlier and it makes us easy to use the media control panel so let me show you here so i am playing a song and as you can see we can see the album art and also the youtube video which we are playing earlier with the new album art so that we can easily see which song we are playing so these are all the under 13 basic features that they have added and nothing new. So this is a small change in the display size and text section where we can see now clearly the icon sizes and shapes. So directly when changing here, as you can see I am changing and it's updating over here so that we can know how it will look actually. So the next thing is regarding the customization section so if we go to the wallpaper and style now we will be getting more kind of material u colors as you can see here so these are all the basic android 13 stuff which google introduced and now we can use them in the nothing goes android 13 beta so as you can see the whole ui is now more adaptive and changes the colors as according to the wallpaper which we kept so as I said earlier, we can force up any app directly from the quick settings panel. Still in the app grid section, we are getting only two options. They should have added more. So the next one is regarding the icon pack. As you can see in Android 13, we will be getting the dim icons. But still it's not perfect as you can see some of the app will be still in the default icon state. So it will be useful if you are using some demon icons compatible apps. Otherwise I suggest you to turn them off. So the next thing is regarding the app language. So go to settings and languages and there you can see the app languages. And then you have option to set different languages for different apps. And this is only works for some compatible apps only so as you can see let me click on calculator and as you can see here are the different languages we can kept to use the calculator app so they didn't mention anything regarding the camera improvements but there is a change in the version in the app so i forgot to mention it so when you are in the recent menu so directly you can take the screenshot of the app instead of using the volume buttons and there is also no pop-up window option in the Android 13 beta currently. I think they will be implementing in the next beta. So here are some pictures and videos which are shot using the nothing phone with the Android 13 beta update. So the photos seems to be same like the earlier on Android 12. So if you find any kind of improvements, comment down below. So this is the 1080p 60fps video recorded using the nothing phone one. So now they have added a new weather app for the nothing OS just like the new recording app with the Android 12. So this is more like the nothing style of the app which is also running on the Echo weather only. So coming to the bugs which I noted there are no major bugs but as you can see the flip to glyph suddenly stopped working for me. As you can see I have enabled it in the settings and still not working. And also the quick settings in the panel are also disappeared as you can see no notifications nothing it is just blank. So now finally when coming to the issues the main important thing is the device is not certified so if you want to use any kind of app for example working apps and even the ICIC mobile app is not working as the device is not certified and the safety net doesn't pass. So be careful with that so if you want the bank apps and the work apps to work properly so stay away from the Android 13 beta because it might take about 3 months to release a stable update. 
So now I will show you how to flash the Android 13 beta on your Nothing Phone 1. Make sure you are on the 1.1.7 version before. So this is the global variant. I am showing you how to sideload the update in the global variant. So open the files app and go to internal storage and download this file. As you can see, I will keep the link in the description below for that also. So after downloading the file, go to the internal storage and create a new folder and enter the name OTA. So now after creating the folder, copy the file which you have downloaded from the link in the description below and paste the file in the OTA folder. So follow this process only if you want to flash the Android 13 beta. So I am not responsible for anything that will be happening with your device and you are the one who are totally responsible. So make sure you took a proper backup and follow the process. So now open the dialer over here and now go to the numpad and type star as star as 682 as star as star. So now you will be seeing this local system update screen and as you can see the file is already detected. So now the time is currently 511 over here so you can check the time for how much it will be taking to install this beta update. So select the file click on proceed and then it will automatically start installing the update on your nothing phone one. So follow this method if you are using only the global variant of the nothing phone one. So I will be speeding up this part for you and in the meantime I will be showing you the change logs which they have mentioned in the Android 13 beta. So I will be keeping a screenshot here so you can check the change log which they have mentioned. Finally the Android 13 beta has been installed and it took almost like 25 minutes to install this update. So finally coming to the conclusion, Android 13 is really smooth, the animations are smooth even they have implemented the basic Android 13 features but they are working perfectly. So as they mentioned for the smoothness and really the app opening speeds and all. So if you want to try out, you can try out the Android 13 but make sure that working work apps don't work anymore and even some banking apps like ICICI mobile pay they don't work so make sure you know that and if you're okay with that you can try the new android 13 beta on your nothing phone one so this is a beta update so don't expect to be a bug free update so there are bugs and it is good for us so that we can report that bugs to the nothing team and they can fix them so I thought they will be adding more features like the screenshot gestures and new glyph animations but they didn't add anything and they disappointed me. Even we can't even change the font of the UI. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe.